The High Performance Planning Board in Aspen Plan Scheduler is now more user-friendly, enabling schedulers to view the schedule at a glance, make adjustments on the fly, and drill down to schedule details. Viewing options such as highlighting frozen activities, seen here, help the scheduler visualize the information they need to manage the schedule. A color-coded exception map immediately alerts the scheduler to any potential problems that exist for the duration of the scheduling horizon. In this case, the biggest problem is the red segment, which indicates an inventory runout for a product, calling attention to needed schedule changes. Inventory levels for these products can be viewed individually, or by clicking on the dedicated planning board ribbon, the scheduler gets easy access to the new inventory tiles, where they can simultaneously view inventory levels for the two products that appear in the exception map. A set of controls at the top of the inventory tiles pane allows the scheduler to advance forward in time to locate where in the scheduling horizon the problem occurs and pinpoint the exact inventory level for each product as they move their mouse along the graph. Now that problems in the schedule have been identified, the scheduler can set about resolving them. To avoid the shortage of the high density A product later in the scheduling horizon, additional production can be inserted onto reactor one. But first, let's make sure it will not cause any immediate problems in the schedule. The scheduler can easily visualize consuming activities by looking at the material trace and see that this product can be made a bit later without delaying downstream production. On the scheduling tab, the scheduler can click on Add Before to insert production prior to the highlighted activity. In this case, a production activity for 1,500 pounds of high density A is created. Note that the schedule immediately re-simulates and adds the appropriate amount of transition time between the two activities. Production can also be adjusted to resolve the maximum storage level violation identified in the exception map. In this case, the scheduler reduces the amount being produced from 750 pounds down to 500 pounds. After making these schedule changes, we return to the inventory tiles and hit the refresh button where we can see that there are no longer any scheduling problems. Now let's look at a different schedule and see how the scheduler can visualize different demand segments and their impact. Here the scheduler is viewing all demand, orders and forecasts together. We can see from the exception map, as well as the inventory tiles, that we have some problems, both safety stock violations, shown in yellow, and inventory runouts in red. Before making any changes to the schedule to resolve these violations, the scheduler wants to see if any actual customer orders are impacted by the runout. By clicking on Demand Selection, the scheduler can select which demand segments to include in their view of the schedule. By deselecting Forecast, the demand picture the scheduler sees is narrowed to existing customer orders only. It is immediately apparent, both via the exception map and the inventory tiles, that no customer orders will be impacted by inventory shortages. Note that the current demand selection, shown here as orders only, is indicated at the bottom of the screen, so it's always obvious to the scheduler what portion of the demand they are viewing. The scheduler can simply click on demand selection again and make the appropriate selections to revert back to the full demand picture. Armed with the knowledge that all customer orders can be met with the current schedule, the scheduler can choose to make schedule adjustments now or address the problem when an order comes in that is actually affected by the inventory shortage. Using the powerful capabilities available on the planning board, schedulers are able to quickly respond to unexpected events and resolve scheduling conflicts to produce a feasible, executable schedule.